In this video, I will explain analysis of inverting operation and defined with feedback. Analysis of inverting inverting operational amplification. Business and required with the with feedback. Feedback. Inverting operational amplifier configuration with feedback is also called as voltage shunt feedback amplifier. Voltage shunt feedback feedback amplifier. This one is often often rather than this one is often. Open loop gain of an alternate is need. This one is the load resistance are in this vector. B not. Here. B. B in this vector here. This one is feedback network. This one is here. We use voltage sampling. Voltage sampling. Voltage sampling here. Shunt mixing. Shunt uh, mixing. This one is the which interface. Yep. This not total current is zero. Uh, IE and the base current is zero. At this point, uh, the distinction and uh, uh, two currents are divided. The current I is divided into IB, IB and IF. Here, half amp is replaced with. Here, half amp block is replaced with original half amp. Here, plus VCC minus uh, VCC. This one is. E1, E1 here, positive on inverting terminal. This one is inverting terminal of an app. Inverting mode means the, the voltage source is applied to inverting terminal of an app. Since this one is the voltage source, this means we need. Some resistance R1 is taken here. Inverting terminal of an open. It is called as inverting mode. Non inverting terminal of an open is connected to ground. Non inverting terminal of an open is connected to ground. This voltage is V1. This voltage is V2. In between these two voltages, the uh, ID is the voltage gain, open voltage gain in A. The fraction of output voltage is uh, fed back to input. The fraction of output voltage is fed back to input through feedback resistor. That is uh, R. That is R. 
appear in some road resistance. RL is there. RL is tilted to the Here minus plus. Y minus plus means here uh, input voltage is here. V input voltage is uh, 180 degree spaceship this is input minus i indicates one that is the reason in here we use it. minus plus see the here the current is i in i in at this point uh, the current is divided here base current ip and uh, feedback current i this is the point this is the point this is minus sign Minus and plus here, half emptiness, and we can interpolate here. This is the inverting operational amplifier configuration with feedback R. Another way of representing this network is in the result. This is the operational amplifier minus. Uh, Plus inverting terminal of an half amp is connected to voltage source V. This one is R1. An inverting terminal of an of an operational amplifier is connected to ground. This is the feedback resistor. RF is connected here. This one is feedback resistor RF. This one is the load resistance RF. Minus plus because this is an inverter terminal, which is the reason from minus plus. This one is a V2. This one is V1. IP1. At this node, the flow trigger line in one. I is I F and this current is uh, this current is I P. This one is see the operational amplifier configuration inverting operational amplifier configuration with the inverting mode. Inverting operational amplifier with feedback. With feedback resistance is R. We use uh, this configuration of this. Both are, both are same. Now, important points here is uh, the input voltage drives the the input voltage. The input voltage drives the inverting. Inverting terminal, inverting terminal. That is, V in drives the inverting terminal and, uh, and the amplified and the amplified amplified as well as inverted output as well as inverted uh, output signal. Is also is also applied is also applied uh, to the inverting input to the inverting input via the feedback feedback resistor. Uh, you see the V in voltage it drives the inverting terminal, inverting terminal of an operational amplifier. This one is plus one CC and the minus one will be also applied. And the amplifier, this one is the input signal. Output signal is uh, like that amplified and uh, inverted. This is the invert, inverted signal. Amplified version, but uh, inversion is there. That inverted the signal is fed back to the input to the Feedback network RF. 
that the inverted signal is a uh, amplified inverted signal is a uh, uh, reached to this uh, input side. Therefore, uh, V1 uh, uh, decreases. Another important point is uh, this arrangement. This arrangement form a negative negative feedback negative feedback because why this negative feedback because any increase any increase in the output signal in the inverted form output signal results in a results in a uh, feedback signal results in feedback uh, signal into the inverting into the inverting input. into the inverting input. causing decreasing causing decreasing 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 the non inverting terminal plus is grounded to grounded the feedback circuit has only one resistor that is uh, rf now find out uh, closed loop voltage given in the operation closed loop voltage gain closed loop voltage gain of the inverting of n Inverting of n with negative feedback with feedback that is represented by a coming to the circuit here here by using this the circuit or this circuit here this is the node V two node at that V two node. I in is equal to I B plus I M. I in is equal to I B plus I M. I B is very, very small in ideal case. Therefore, I in is approximately equal to I M. I in is equal to V in minus V2. V in minus V2 by R1. I F is equal to V2. I F is equal to V2 minus V0. V2 minus V0 by R. IN is equal to V in minus V2 here. The voltage is V2 here. V in minus uh, I mean is equal to V in minus V2 by R1. And IF is equal to and IF is equal to V2. This is the V2 minus V0. V2 minus V0 by R. Therefore, here KCL, which of current law apply at a, at a node voltage V2, node voltage V2. Therefore, I in is equal to IB plus I. In. I in is approximately equal to feedback voltage I F. We know that I in is equal to V in minus V in minus V2 by R1 is equal to IF is equal to V2 minus V0 by R. V2 minus V0 by R. We know that V0 is equal to A into A into V. VID means V1 minus V2. V1 minus V2. Here V1 is connected to ground. Therefore, V1 is equal to 0. Here V1 is connected to ground. V1 is equal to 0. Substitute V1 is equal to 0 in that equation. V naught is equal to A into 
minus V2. Minus V2. That is equal to V2 is equal to minus V0 by E. V2 is equal to minus V2. This V2 is substituted in, the, in this equation. This V2 is substituted in that equation. That is equal to here in V in minus of minus V0 by A by R1 is equal to V2 minus here V2 is replaced with uh, V2 is replaced with minus V0 by A minus uh, V0 by A minus uh, V0 by by R. V in plus V not by A by R1 minus sign V not by A plus V not by It is V in A plus V not by a into R1 minus sign indicates some phase shift. When it indicates phase shift between input and outputs. V not plus A, V not, V not plus A, V not by RF into A, by RF into A. This A. Uh, this A and uh, this A is cancelled. Finally, the simplified uh, expression is R1 A is cancelled. B in A by B in into A by R1 is equal to minus V0 by R1, again minus V0 by R1, minus A into V0 by V in A into V in A by R1 is equal to minus R1, R minus V not here, R plus R1 plus A into A into R1. Finally, R1 and R1 is cancelled. E in A into Rf is equal to minus E naught Rf plus R1 plus AR1. Finally, gain with the feedback AF is equal to V naught by V. So the gain with feedback is equal to output voltage V naught by total input voltage applied to that inverting thermal is for K. V not by V in is equal to minus sign here RF plus R1 plus AR1 V A into A into this is the exact exact. Suppose uh, A into R1, A is infinity, A is 2 into not infinity, A is uh, uh, open loop gain, 2 into fractal value is uh, 2 into 10 power, sorry, 2 into 10 power, 10 power 5 into R1 is far power greater than Rf plus R1, therefore Rf plus R1 is neglected. That is equal to 
माइनस ये आर बाई ये आर ये ये कैंसिल इसको क्लोज लूप गेन ऑफ दी नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर विथ विथ फीडबैक इज माइनस आर बाई आर वन अंडर आइडियल फ्लोस अंडर आइडियल दिस वन इज एक्सेप्ट केस दिस वन इज आइडियल फ्लोस ए एफ इज इक्वल टू वी मोड दैट ए एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस ये आर बाई माइनस ये आर बाई आर प्लस आर वन प्लस ये आर वन द कॉमन टर्म इज माइनस ये आर बाई आर प्लस आर वन वन प्लस ये आर वन बाई आर प्लस That is equal to that is equal to minus a. That is open loop gain of an open with open with open. Inverting open minus a r f by r f plus r one divided by one plus a into r one by r f plus This is the KF with feedback gain. Inverting amplifier gain with the feedback. That is KF. Here, where let K is equal to R F by R E plus R D. That is the voltage attenuation factor. Voltage attenuation factor. Voltage attenuation. Beta is equal to R one by R one plus R one plus R. So finally, AF is equal to AF is equal to minus A into K by one plus A by. This is the gain of the inverting amplifier with the negative feedback is given by minus a into k by one plus a bit. But gain of the amplifier with non-inverting amplifier is given by general Allen here in the previous video. A f is equal to a by one plus a bit. This one is a Gain of the non-inverting, non-inverting half amp. Gain of the non-inverting half amp with feedback. Feedback. This one is a gain of the inverting half amp. Gain of the inverting half amp with feedback. With compare this, compare this to that which is the minus sign indicates a some one eighty degree space between input and output. Mod AK is equal to this one into mod that is AK by one plus AK. Compare this to A by one plus A beta. The addition of phase inversion. The addition of phase inversion minus sign and uh, attenuation factor. Compare this one is a k by one plus a beta. This one is a by one plus a beta. Compare compare uh, about two about two equations. Compare about two equations. In addition, in addition to phase, phase inversion. In addition to phase inversion, that is a minus sign. This is minus sign. 
the closure loop for gain of the inverting amplifier is uh, k times the the closure of loop gain gain of the inverting amplifier inverting amplifier is a uh, is k times is k times the closure loop closure loop gain closure loop gain of the non inverting amplifier yeah this is the gain of the inverting amplifier with feedback a by 1 plus A beta. A by 1 plus A beta is also called the gain of the non inverting amplifier with feedback. And one more extra term is there, K, and the minus sign is also there. Representation in block diagram. Block diagram of uh, block diagram of block diagram of inverting inverting amplifier. Inverting amplifier with the uh, feedback using using a voltage uh, using a voltage summing voltage summing tension is a model for as a as a model for current control. Now we will see that the block diagram. We know that AF is equal to minus K into A by 1 plus A beta. For this part, for this part, the block diagram is same as the non inverting amplifier with configuration with the negative feedback. This one is A. Coming mission. This one is a beta. This one is V naught. We have connected here. Minus sign. This one is A. Extra block is added due to this K. This one is K. V in. This one here minus sign is there. It is the minus. This is called as a voltage sum. This is called as voltage sum. Voltage sum. Voltage summing junction. This is the voltage summing summing junction as a model for current sum. You see the difference uh, of fields. A k is equal to. We know that. Uh, a k is equal to minus k into a by one plus k beta. Therefore, a voltage summing we find out this one. K is equal to k is equal to R one by we have some value k is equal to RF by R F by R F by R F plus R one K is equal to R F by R F plus R one beta is equal to R one by R one by R one plus minus K E a beta is greater for than one that is equal to a beta a cancel that is minus k by beta minus k means rf by rf plus r1 beta is r1 by r1 plus r these two are cancelled finally minus rf by a a this means b 
KF is called as a gain of the inverting amplifier with feedback is equal to minus RF by R1. This is the ideal case. Ideal. Now, input resistance. Second one, second parameter is uh, calculate uh, input resistance. Input resistance. Input resistance of the output. We use uh, two, uh, two diagrams. In the first diagram or the second diagram, already represented at the initial stage. We will use, I will use second diagram minus plus. This one is V2, this one is V1. In between these two, VID. R1 is connected plus or minus it is V in V1 is connected to ground and inverting terminal of an up and is connected to ground. Feedback resistance R R minus plus inversion is there, that is the recent representation is like that. This one is IB1. That they know IE, IF, IE, IF, and IP. This one is IB1. You see, the RF resistance is connected between uh, two nodes, two volumes, V2 and V1. Suppose this is the node voltage V2. This is the node voltage V0. Some resistance RF is connected here. That is replaced with the, this is the single branch is replaced with the two branches. The two branches values Z1 and Z2. The two branches values are Z1 and Z2. That is a Z1 is connected between V2 and ground. Z2 is also connected between V0 and ground. The value of Z1 is equal to, the value of Z1 is equal to that resistance by RF by 1 minus A. The value of Z2 is equal to RF A by A minus RF A by not K. This one is K. This one is K, 1 minus K, R of K by K minus K. Where K is called as voltage gain of the amplifier, that is minus A, because the two sign is there. R of by 1 plus R of by plus A here, Z2 is equal to R of minus A here. Minus A minus 1. F2 is equal to F4. RF A by 1 plus at the opposite. Therefore, this RF is connected between the input and output side of the expression. The equivalent circuit is like that. Minus plus this one is a V1 plus minus. R1, this one is R1. Here voltage is V2. One more resistance is considered here, that is RF by one plus 
I mean, at the input side, at the input side, V2 and ground. Here, uh, some resistance, resistance RA is there. Here, AOL into VAD. This is the V1 voltage. V1 is connected to ground. Uninverted terminal of the FM is connected to ground. This is the R0. One more resistance is connected here, R A by one plus A, according to Miller's theory. This one is B2, B1, B2, B1, and B2. According to Miller's theory, any resistance R you see that in the circuit icon, that is the resistance RF is connected between V2 and V0 terminals. That is a that single branch resistance is replaced with the two branches with values Z1 and Z2. Z1 is connected at V2 and Z2 is connected at V0. Z1 is at the input side, Z2 at the output side. Therefore, finally, RIF is equal to RIF, this is the input resistance looking between these two terminals. RIF is equal to R1 plus RF by 1 plus A parallel with R. R is the resistance between V2 and V1. V1 is grounded, therefore, R is the resistance between V2 and ground. Therefore, RF 1 plus A parallel with Parallel with Ri, that is equal to R1 parallel combination Rf by 1 plus A into Ri by Ri plus Rf by 1 plus that is equal to R1 plus Rf. R I by R I into one plus A plus R is it one plus A is it one plus A? So these two are cancelled. R one R F by R I. This is approximately equal to R I into A plus R. R I into A is far far greater than R F. Therefore, R F is neglected. R F is neglected. R one plus R F R I by R I into A. Because R I A is far far greater than R F. So R F is neglected. R I R I is cancelled. Suppose open loop gain is ideally it is infinity. Or Practically, it values 2 into 10 to 5. Higher value in the uh, denominator, therefore, it's entire family 0. Suppose A is equal to infinity means 1 by 0. That is 0 into RF by 1. That is 0. Finally, input resistance, input resistance of the inverting amplifier with feedback is RIF is R1. R1. By changing that RF R1 value, the input resistance of that half amplitude also changes. Next one is output resistance. Calculate output resistance. Output resistance R way. Output resistance R way. Consider First uh, diagram, diagram of the operation and effect. First diagram of the operation and effect. This one is a plus and a minus. Plus is connected to ground in the inverting mode. 
here uh, simplified diagram this one is b2 this one is uh, b1 rf resistance is connected here this is rf and uh, b1 is also connected here b1 this one is uh, r1 This one is plus minus V in is printed here. This is V2, the voltage between these two terminals is VAD. Some input resistance uh, RI is present here. Here also, some output resistance are not. A into VAD, this one is band row, this one is a low distance RM. This one is low distance. In order to calculate output resistance of that half end, uh, put, uh, this is the depending voltage. Put V in is equal to zero. Remove RL from the, uh, remove RL from the circuit, RL is equal to Infinity, RL is equal to infinity, and apply V not voltage at the output of the operation and apply in the non inverting mode. Remove this one. Remove this R and is equal to unity. Put V in is equal to zero. Put V in is equal to zero. Short circuit is this one is VF voltage. VF is equal to V2. And apply V naught voltage. Here, the voltage from V naught is uh, here I naught. Let this I naught uh, divided into two currents, I1 and uh, I2 current. Therefore, I, I1 is flowing through the low resistance side only because R0 is very, very low. I2 is uh, neglected compared to I1. Therefore, I0 is approximately equal to I0 is approximately equal to I1. From this one, R0 F is equal to V0 by I1. V0 by I0, that is V0 by I1. Now, R0 F is equal to V naught by that is equal to V naught by I one is I one is equal to V naught minus A into V I D by R V naught is equal to V naught minus A into V I D by V I D by V naught here voltage is V naught here voltage is the AVID difference between these two voltages V naught minus AVID by R naught is the I one that is equal to V naught R naught by V naught minus A into VID is V one minus V two V one minus V two here V one is connected to ground. Therefore, V1 value is 0. V1 is equal to 0. Connected to ground. Substitute this one in this equation. V0 R0 by V0 minus minus V2. That is equal to V0 A. V0 R0 by V0 plus a into A into. V naught is uh, VF, V naught, R naught, V naught plus A into VF. We know that beta is equal to VF by V naught. Therefore, VF is equal to beta into V naught. Here, uh, 
This V is substitute to zero. That is Vf. Vf is equal to total voltage applied to the circuit is V naught into this resistance R1 by R1 plus. That is beta. That is uh, beta is equal to Vf by V naught is equal to is equal to R1 by R1 plus. Here, Vf is equal to beta into V naught. V naught plus A into beta into V naught, V naught, V naught cancel. Therefore, R naught by 1 plus A beta. Output resistance of the term, the inverting of it is decreased by a factor 1 plus A beta. Next, to calculate the bandwidth. Calculate the bandwidth with feedback. Bandwidth uh, with uh, feedback. The bandwidth with the feedback. By you in the in case of uh, inverting amp, we know that uh, A of is A. But F F is far far greater than O. Therefore, we know that F F the bandwidth of that half amp with the feedback, inverting half amp with feedback is equal to F naught into one plus F naught into one plus one. Another one is unity gain uh, bandwidth is equal to A into a into from this expression f naught is equal to u g b by a. Substitute this f naught in that expression. If f is equal to u g b by a one plus a one plus a. In case of inverting m for a f is equal to a k by one plus that is equal to A F by K is equal to A by 1 plus 1 plus A beta by A is equal to K by A. Therefore, F F is equal to UT gain bandwidth by K by K by K by C then. Feedback bandwidth of an up amp, inverting up amp with feedback is given by unity gain cross work frequency into K by A. Next, the last one is a total output of circuit. Total output offset voltage is given by. V O O T is equal to plus or minus V saturation by one plus A into beta. This, this is the plus or minus V saturation is the output offset voltage without feedback. V O O T output offset voltage total output offset voltage with feedback is given by plus or minus V saturation by one plus A beta. Under open loop condition, there is no feedback. This is half n. This one is A. Uh, this one is V2. This one is V1. This one is output. output. Under open circuited condition, output offset voltage is V saturation levels. Under closed loop condition, V output offset voltage is plus or minus V set by decreases. Decreases due to that uh, feedback. The total output voltage is, is decreased by a factor one plus a bit. This is the desired. Desired. With this, uh, the analysis is uh, completed. In that case, this one is AF is equal to minus AK by one plus uh, a beta. RIF is equal to R one. 
tar rho f t is equal to r by f is equal to r not by 1 plus a beta. Now next one is bandwidth. Bandwidth of the top amp is a f f is equal to f f is equal to f l f is equal to u g b k u g b k by 1 plus k beta. UGBK by AF. UGBK by AF. UGBK by A. And the finally total output of such voltage VOT is equal to plus or minus V set by 1 plus. These are the formulas already I have derived. With this, the analysis is completed.